Hey guys, let's answer these two questions from previous question papers. Um, both questions are based on the I. The diagram below shows part of the I. Give the letter and name. Oopsie. Uh, let me just sort that out. I feel like bruising green today. Give the letter and the name of the part which regulates the amount of light entering the eye. So that will be the iris. There it is. So the letter is A and the name is iris. My pen is way too thick. Okay, that looks better. Um, letter and name of the part which transmits impulses to the brain. That will obviously be E. E is the optic nerve. Then supplies food and oxygen to the eye. That will be C. So C, there is C over there. That is the choroid. Contains cones and is the area of clearest vision. So that is D. D, um, the yellow spot. Then assists in the refraction of light rays that will be b the cornea b cornea remember guys they asked for the letter and name so it will be independent marking for both one mark for the letter we mark the letter and the name letter name letter name letter name letter name 10 marks let's move to the next question Okay, the diagram below shows the response of the human eye to two different conditions. There's two different conditions. Identify part A, B, and C. There is A. A will be the sclera. We're just identifying the parts here. There is B. Those are our lens, obviously. And there is C. C, um, ciliary body. Okay, then name and describe the process in diagram one. So remember we're having two diagrams um, showing two different conditions. So diagram one, we can see there is a change happening in the size of the pupil, right? And in diagram two, we can see the focus is on the shape of the lens. So one is pupillary mechanism and the other is accommodation. Now name and describe the process in diagram one one the process in diagram one is pupillary pupillary mechanism pupillary mechanism so we've named it we need to describe it in the bright light the circular muscles constrict and radial muscles relax and the purple becomes small um, in order for less light to enter the eye we are describing what is happening check the change the pupil has become smaller because um the circular muscles contract and the radial muscles relax name the part of the eye that is responsible for the response in diagram um one in diagram one the part of the eye that is responsible for that, that is the iris. Okay. Describe the process that is taking place in diagram two. Diagram two is this one. What we are seeing there is accommodation. But accommodation for what? Is it accommodation for distant vision or accommodating for accommodation rather for near vision? It's definitely near vision. So we describe the process um, for five marks. So that's accommodation for near vision. They didn't ask us to name the process, but I'm just going to write it down for you guys. 
accommodation for near 